head over to fifcoinsonline.com for fast and reliable ultimate team coins. Alright guys and welcome back to another one of my teammate challenge videos and today we are back in the Bundesliga and that is because we are going to be with Bayern Munich who are the 2012-13 Bundesliga champions and that is because we are going to be reviewing Man of the Match Gomez versus Team of the Season Mandzukic so a very good um, teammate challenge for you today and basically guys for those of you that do not know Teammate challenge is kind of like an overpriced versus affordable or a go big or go home series where I compare two players from the same team and give my review at the end to which player I prefer. So the difference in this series is that price is completely irrelevant and I actually compare two players from the same team, hence the name teammate challenge. So starting off with the review, we are first going to look at the price of both the players and Gomez can be picked up for around 260,000 coins, whereas Mandzukic is roughly 130,000 coins. So pretty much Mandzukic is half price compared to Gomez. Then going into their weak foot and skill moves, Mario Gomez has a weak foot rating of 4 stars and a skill moves rating of 3 stars. And this can be compared to Mandzukic who has 3 star weak foot and 3 star skill move. So here you can see the skill moves of both players are exactly the same but under the weak foot Mario Gomez has plus 1 star under this aspect. So going into the highest skill of both the players, Mario Gomez's highest skill is his 99 finishing and this can be compared to Mandzukic's finishing which is 98. But then going on to Mandzukic's highest skill, this is his 99 aggression and this can be compared to Gomez's aggression which is only 83. So here you can see a massive difference under the aggression of both the players but in all fairness that stat is normally irrelevant in FIFA 13 and I don't really understand how it is ever used when playing online. So going on to some other really important stats which are essential for strikers on the game. I have included these in the border to the video. We are first going to look at their finishing but of course I have already touched on this because it is Mario Gomez's highest stat at 99 whereas Mandzukic's is 98. So there you can see both players have incredible finishing on the game but if I'm honest I really don't think Mandzukic's finishing is 98, I think it's more like 85 because the amount of one-on-ones Mandzukic misses is actually incredible. He is a really frustrating player to play with, in my opinion, because he gets one-on-one so many times and just hits it straight at the keeper no matter how far right or how far left you want him to go. So looking at the long shots of both the players, Mario Gomez has a long shot rating of 88, whereas Mandzukic has a long shot rating of 90. So you can see both players' long shots are very close on this game. And in all honesty, guys, I can't really comment that much on the long shots because with both these players, I didn't have that many shots from distances over 20 yards as I was kind of only shooting from in and around the box. Then another really, really important stat for both these players is their heading and under this skill Mario Gomez has a rating of 89 whereas Mandzukic has a rating of 98. So here you can see a plus 9 difference in favour of Mandzukic regarding the heading of the players. But in all fairness I really don't find this reflective of the in-game abilities of the players because the amount of times that Mandzukic was beaten to a header was absolutely ridiculous and he did have quite a lot of headers from crosses which he put over the bar and with a 98 heading rating you would expect him to do much better. However on the other hand with Mario Gomez with an 89 rating for heading I really think that he was very good. Probably even better than Mandzukic at actually heading the ball so I don't understand how Mandzukic could have a plus 9 rating over Gomez under this skill. Then going on to the next stats which are probably going to be deal breakers for quite a lot of you guys are the acceleration and sprint speed of both the players and as you will probably know Mario Gomez and Mandzukic aren't exactly well known for their pace. So looking at the acceleration of Gomez this is 78 and this can be compared to Mandzukic's acceleration which is 83 and then Mario Gomez's sprint speed is 80 this can be compared to Mandzukic's sprint speed which is 85. So under these aspects you can see that Mandzukic has a plus 5 difference in both acceleration and sprint speed. So you can say that Mandzukic is much quicker than Mario Gomez in the game but in all fairness he is still pretty slow because I find that in game both these players have roughly the same speed 
And to be fair, it's kind of the strength of both the players, which is essential for them for holding the ball and shielding the ball from other players. So finally going into the work rate of both the players, Gomez's work rate is medium attacking and medium defensive, whereas Mandzukic's work rates are high attacking and high defensive. And I can't stress to you guys how annoying it is to have a striker with high, high work rate because pretty much it feels like he is playing in midfield for most of the game. So I definitely wouldn't recommend getting Mandzukic if you are one of those players who hates having a striker lingering around the halfway line. Whereas Gomez with his medium medium is still pretty annoying because I do prefer players to have high attacking and low defensive. But nevertheless it is still much better than having Mandzukic who is on high high. So that does actually finally bring us into the part of the video where I talk about the goals and assists each player got within five games. So in five games, Gomez managed to get himself eight goals and one assist, which is absolutely ridiculous because it's more than one goal per game and you can't ask more of that than a striker. And he wasn't that wasteful in his opportunities. He was very good at finishing and pretty much most of the shots he had went in. Whereas Mandzukic got himself eight goals as well in five games but he didn't actually manage to pick up any assists so even though Mandzukic and Gomez both had eight goals in five games I would definitely say that Gomez is much much better than Mandzukic because Mandzukic is so frustrating to play against pretty much he only scores around I'd say 50% of the one-on-ones he has and only around 30% of the shots that he actually takes so if you're one of those players that struggles to make chances, I would definitely say go for Gomez because pretty much all of his shots go in, whereas Mandzukic is very, very frustrating to play with and I wouldn't recommend anyone get Mandzukic. So pretty much for my final opinion in this video, I would definitely say that you have to go for... Mario So yeah guys, I wouldn't even recommend getting Mandzukic just to try him out because I really hated playing with him. I know he scored a lot of goals in five games, but he is so frustrating. He just makes you rage so much at FIFA because he should be so much better than actually what he is. But anyway, that does unfortunately bring us to the end of the video. And what I want you guys to do is leave in the comment section down below which players you want me to do in my next teammate challenge. And if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up.